Bill Murray from Economics News Network, and here are the important economic stories from around the world today. Wheat is an inexpensive good that is found virtually everywhere and is used in 99% of products we see on store shelves. However, we do not have an endless supply. With a depleting supply and an increasing global man demand, it is challenging for companies to keep up. Since 2006, general grain prices have soared from 3 bucks to 4 dollars and this is attributed to many reasons. U.S. consumers per year spend about 10% of their after-tax income per average on food. Experts don't claim that wheat prices crossing that $10 threshold will lead into an immediate spike because the big four protect themselves from price volatility and constant fluctuation. So pay attention for high prices next time you go to the grocery store. In unemployment news, the U.S. unemployment rate fell to 3.8% in February 2019 from 4% in the previous month and below market expectations of 3.9%. The number of unemployed persons decreased by 300,000 people to 6.2 million. And historically, it re the unemployment rate has reached a all-time high of 10.8% in November of 1982 and a record low of 2.5% in May of 53. In state economic news, sales tax in 51 California cities is increasing starting April 1st. Taxes in Roseville, Lodi, and Sacramento are going up 0.5% while West Side Sacramento is having a tax increase of 0.25%. Several Bay Area cities will see sales tax increases as well. The rate currently is at 7.25%. The ruling also means that California requires out-of-state online retailers to collect sales and use taxes. In stock market news, we have two different companies going two different directions. While Amazon shares climbed a substantial 1.5%, moving above the 1800 per share level beforehand, Lyft nosedive, like this car. Lyft shares went the other direction Monday morning, dropping a staggering 11%. However, investors in this stock should not consider this the downward move that kills Lyft shares, because other companies have seen their prices fluctuate for months below initial offering only to explode one day. In U.S. job news today, Trump has added six times more manufacturing jobs than under President Obama during his term. According to a job report released by our federal government, non-farm payroll jobs grew by 304,000 in January, far above normal economists' consumer an estimate of 170,000. The average monthly gain in 2018 was turned 23,000. We can attribute this to the administration's red tape cutting policies put in place and the tax reform law passed in December of 2017, allowing for these jobs to be made. In other news, the Federal Reserve proposed a rule change to limit the interconnectedness of large banking organizations and reduce the impact from the failure of the largest banking organizations. This proposal would complement other measures the banking services took to limit the interconnectedness among large banking operations. Banking organizations generally have firms that have 250 billion or more in consolidated assets or 10 billion or more in on balance sheet exposure from purchasing large amounts of TLAC debt. This proposal would require such banking organizations to hold additional capital against the holdings of TLAC debt. Looking to buy a home? Then pay attention to this next story. According to Realtor.com, the value of homes hit a medium value of $300,000 this past month. The number of homes that are listed for sale above 750,000 increased 11% from March of last year. Danielle Hale claimed that despite a slowing growth rate, home prices will likely continue to set new records later this year. Heading into this spring, U.S. prices are expected to continue to rise and inventory is expected to continue to increase in the housing market, but at a slower pace than before because fewer sellers want to contend with that year's conditions. In world news, America's inflation rate has been on a steady decline since October of 2018. It has increased at a rate of 0.3 per month to a low, low rate of 1.5%. Even though a moderate inflation rate can be considered good, there are some reasons that people should be concerned of low inflation. 
an inflation rate lower than the 2% target for a long period of time can signal that the money authority does not have inflation under control or the commitment is not the greatest. Second, very low inflation is associated with a possibility of falling into deflation where prices and wages are declining on average. Deflation is usually associated with weak economic conditions, which is a complete opposite of Trump's America. In world news, America's inflation rate has been on a steady decline since October of 2018. It has increased at a rate of 0.3 per month to a low, low rate of 1.5%. Even though a moderate inflation rate can be considered good, there are some reasons that people should be concerned of low inflation. An inflation rate lower than the 2% target for a long period of time can signal that the money authority does not have inflation under control or the commitment is not the greatest. Second, very low inflation is associated with a possibility of falling into deflation where prices and wages are declining on average. Deflation is usually associated with weak economic conditions, which is a complete opposite of Trump's America.